एग्रियाटिक मॉक टेस्ट दिस वेर ऑल्सो वेरी मच हेल्पफुल लाइक ड्यूरिंग लास्ट मंथ प्रिपरेशन आई वॉज ओनली गिविंग द मॉक टेस्ट फ्रॉम दैट प्रोवाइडेड बाई एग्रियाटिक एग्रियाटिक प्रोवाइडेड मी बेस्ट एजुकेटर्स एंड मेंटर्स दैट दे हेल्प मी स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द जे आर एफ प्रिपरेशन लाइक फ्रॉम प्रिपेरिंग द एग्जाम टिल दिस कॉलेज सिलेक्शन Hello everyone welcome back to our youtube channel agriedict so today with us we have one of the topper of icar pg entomology and nematology course 2024 that is arpita who has secured an all india rank of 44 with a marks of 291 so today with us she is here to share her experiences and the journey to becoming the topper of this exam so let us have a quick introduction arpita before we start please introduce yourself yes ma'am so i am arpita mohanty i have completed my graduation from odisha university of agriculture and technology bhubaneswar and i have secured all india rank 44 in the subject group of entomology and nematology and uh, my marks were 291 yeah you have been allotted to and ma'am i am allotted uh, to tnu that is tamil nadu agriculture university in coimbatore campus in the division of entomology yeah yeah Oh, i'm happy for your placement and also i congratulate you, you for securing the top rank in this exam thank you ma'am yeah so coming to the first basic question while we are interviewing you that why did you choose entomology subject as we know that this subject has many uh, scientific names to be remembered and many orders and something something so how did you decide that you will go for this subject what is that thing that triggered the interest in this subject ma'am uh, during when i was in my 12th uh, from that uh, day only i was very much inter- interested in zoology subject like zoology was uh, one of my favorite so um, in when i entered in agriculture uh, uh, the same was in my mind like uh, uh, that's why i chose entomology because it was uh, something related more related to this zoology like taxonomy physiology same thing was there the only part uh, that many students face uh, difficulty in uh, like remembering the scientific names families etc but um, what i did i like i rem- uh, my technique was uh, i was making songs of scientific names and uh, i have uploaded that in my youtube channel also um, mm-hmm. uh, i used to sing songs of scientific names and uh, and by doing that i remember all those names okay your story is really interesting that you used to make uh, songs anyone you can sing for us yeah ma'am like um, i one i uh, i have made uh, in zara zara that mm-hmm. is zara zara song so the paste of rice i am singing that brivenia rehi hydrelia sasaki A groot sheep Cylon, hero glyphus vania. Sina follow Chris, Medina Elise, stinky to three spy for Miss Nymphula, dipping tallies, bandi kota bingalinskis, skipo faga. insectivulus steneo tarsuni maspaing ki pelo padas mathias oligonica so raisa so gatela furcifera dicladis parmigera nymphula dipanctalis raiselia dorsalis like this i was used to very good this is the first time somebody doing this i'm seeing it is really your voice is also very good and uh, the way you have uh, created it is brilliant Thank i you. think this is going to help many of your juniors i guess if they Thank visit you. your youtube channel it's definitely help them and it's like uh, i got amazed just by <laughs> hearing your singing and the composition it's very nice thank you thank you ma'am that's the, it shows how much you are interested in your subject like <laughs> not many people will do this kind of uh, things this shows your interest in your subject it's very nice 
so okay when did you started your preparation after Ma deciding the subject so when did you start? yeah i did in second year when i was in my second year and uh, in second year i gathered information about uh, the books and uh, the websites that i need to follow uh, mm -hmm. I, uh, since the preparation i started during my third year so third and fourth year was uh, for two years i was uh, Mm, uh, uh, for this exam. Okay. Uh, from the beginning of your third year, you have started properly. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You have prepared for complete two years. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's great. On an average, uh, how many hours you used to study? Since you had uh, taken whole two years for the completion, like uh, how much hours you used to study in a day? Ma'am, like after uh, classes, uh, mm -hmm. I was uh, used to studying like five to six hours on an average. Mm -hmm. So I was, uh, my my strategy was I had uh, divided the subjects like uh, for entomology, uh, two hours, then for uh, general agriculture, one hour, then for mm -hmm. neurology, one and a half hour like that. Okay. So you were taking all the subjects together? Yes, ma'am. Dividing the time is. Okay. Yes. It's one good a strategy. Okay. We'll move forward. So... So let's uh, get into your subject. You can tell us about uh, your major and minor subject groups. Yes, ma'am. So if we divide the subject group into, into major and minor subjects, so in major subject, uh, that is, uh, it is entomology. Like uh, in exam, 70% uh, of the questions will co come only from entomology. Then next 30% will be divided into minor subjects in nematology and general agriculture portion. Okay. In entomology also, there are uh, subjects like apiculture, sericulture, lacquerture, and beneficial insect portion. Okay. Uh, that is. Okay. So coming to the entomology, so what are the books you have referred and how did you cover them? You can share with us. Yes, ma'am. For uh, entomology, the first, uh, that is the basic book. It is in sector written by Raghumurthy. So... Uh, uh, first, uh, it covers the insect morphology, uh, systematics, taxonomy, physiology. Uh, mm -hmm. So one, it read thoroughly, like uh, it is important, very much important. Line by line is important from this book. And um, um, then after completing it, uh, then next one is Insecta 2. Mm -hmm. Written by the same authors. Um, and uh, in this book, uh, it is uh, it consists the IPM portion. Uh, mm -hmm. Then beneficial in proper portion, um, then uh, biocontrol. So okay. after completing in sector one, in sector two, uh, the in in sector two the ecology portion is very much important. Okay. And uh, coming to the classes, how did you felt and uh, how did you cover the classes? Uh, Ma'am, uh, uh, after going through the books, mm -hmm. I need. Uh, that uh, I was uh, seeing the videos of Agri Edit and uh, recorded videos and sometimes live classes also I have attended. Hmm. Mm, yeah. And uh, what about the mock test? You used to attend uh, daily or uh, when you used to attend the mock test? Ma'am, like uh, ma my timing was uh, early in the morning I used to uh, give or attend mock test. So okay. I have attended every mock test that is topic wise also and uh, full length mock test also. Like okay. um, uh, they were uploading the full length uh, mock test and I have attended them all. Okay. So you have attended all the mock tests. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Let's move forward. And also you have uh, mentioned some more books. You can tell about this. Yes, ma'am. Uh, in the previous slide, slide, there was one book. Mm -hmm. uh, DS Ready book for crop pitch portion. Uh, one need to follow that DS Ready book um, mm -hmm. is very much important. And um, uh, from that, uh, some it is uh, there. Uh, it has given uh, some major insect pests and minor insect pests. So you have to remember uh, their uh, scientific names, families, uh, management practices, etc. Okay. Then after that, uh, after completing these basic books. Then uh, one need to study these uh, one-liner books, that is Entomology Refresher and Treatise. Okay. Uh, 
by uh, CP Vijayan Pani Kumar and traders by TV Prasad. Okay. Refresher, uh, uh, the most important uh, part uh, which I would like to say is the toxicology portion. In Refresher, there is a toxicology chart. So um, many pesticides with their trade names, they have mentioned there. Um, it is very much important. So one need to uh, read thoroughly and remember all those um, pesticides in their uh, trade names. Then um, uh, treatise. Treatise also in treatise, the most important part is the vector, insect vector portion. Mm -hmm. like in the last two to three years, um, they are putting questions from insect vectors. And uh, one cannot find the, that vector chapter in all the previous books that I told. So mm -hmm. for vector part, one need to remember all the points from treatise book because they directly ask questions from this. Okay. So and before then, starting, um, did you analyze the previous year question paper? Yes, ma'am. Um, okay. So after that, uh, one, uh, this is element of economic entomology, triple book by Vasant Raj and David. So um, uh, it is actually a very lengthy book. So one need to study specifically the beneficial insect portion only from this book. Okay. Uh, the history part is also important. And uh, if time permits, uh, one can also study the crop based portion from this. But beneficial insect part uh, is very important from this book. Okay, it's a must from this book. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So and you have also mentioned about the Njiranga University notes. Angular notes and TNU notes are also important. Like uh, one can read them uh, before starting uh, for JREP, like uh, during semester course. Uh, mm -hmm. One need to study thoroughly if you are interested in entomology. Then first study, you can study these notes. Then you can jump directly to the books. Okay. And uh, how about you? you used to make the notes while uh, reading or you have referred only to the textbooks? No, ma'am. Um, I only refer to the textbooks and simultaneously I was practicing questions. Okay. So you did not make uh, notes for yourself? No, ma'am. Okay. Next, move forward. And also you have mentioned about the objective books. Yes, ma'am. Um, that uh, TV Prasad, Objective Entomology by TV Prasad book. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, solving this book while studying the treatise. Like uh, these both are connected. Uh, one can study treatise and simultaneously uh, one can solve this book, uh, Objective uh, Entomology by TV Prasad. So that will be helpful. Then uh, another one book is uh, Question Bank on Entomology by Supriya Biswas. Uh, it okay. is also important, like uh, many questions from Refresher. Um, mm -hmm. You can find uh, objective from Refresher in this book. Okay. So you are uh, suggesting your juniors that practice as much as mock tests that are possible. Yes, yes, ma'am. Questions mm -hmm. and uh, uh, that agriatic mock test. These were also uh, very much helpful. Like uh, during last month preparation, I was only giving the mock test from uh, that provided by agriatic. Mm -hmm. So in that time only I um, got, got to know that um, in which area I was lacking or I need to practice more or concentrate more. So uh, mock tests were very much helpful. Yeah. So this is a must for every student that uh, just by reading books, you won't get anything. You have to attempt for many questions. Then only you will get to know how well you have understood the subject and in which areas you are lacking. So this is a must for all the students. Go through as many as mock tests that are possible for you guys. And go for standard set of mock tests. So, how you felt about the mock tests provided by AgriEdit? Were they up to the standard and up to the mark of exam? What was your comment on this? Yes, ma'am. They were up to the mark. Uh, like, um, I felt the same. Uh, like, uh, it was giving me um, uh, exam vibe. So, why like the mock test? Uh, so, um, yeah, questions were uh, uh, like medium to difficult level. And some. Mm -hmm. When in one set, I used to find uh, found um, easy questions, but uh, 
uh, yeah one need to um, uh, not it is not necessary that only difficult questions will come so yeah. need to uh, study thoroughly like uh, sometimes um, in, like in entomology it is very um, what uh, it is a um, one need to revise thoroughly like um, revising again and again will build concept in entomology so starting basic to, uh, then uh, to the upper level like uh, one can go up um, but basics are very much important because sometimes students forget the basic questions so um, basic to um, that um, uh, what advanced level so uh, everything is important in entomology so okay. since it has many of the trade names and many of the scientific names Revising it multiple times is the key for everyone's success. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And uh, what about your uh, schedule? Like, how did you make time for yourself during your fourth year? Like, uh, as we know that fourth year will be a bit busy. How, how did you make time for yourself for studies? Ma'am, like, um, during my Ravi program, mm -hmm. um, I used to study early in the morning, like from uh, six to eight, six to eight okay. hours. Then after coming from work um, in the evening, um, seven to 10. Then okay. after dinner also, I sometimes used to study um, 11 to 12, that is. Okay. So how about group discussions? Were you doing group discussion with your friends or anyone? No, ma'am. I was uh, doing self-study only. Okay. You prefer self-study? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so when did you finish your one set of reading, like uh, overall syllabus, when did you cover for one time? For one time, ma'am, it was in the third year only. Okay, uh, in third year itself, you have completed. Yes, ma'am. Uh, like in nematology, I have uh, not uh, completed. I had not completed that time. But mm -hmm. at the moment, it was uh, completed in my third year. In fourth okay. year, I started studying nematology. And... Mm -hmm. Agriculture was uh, daily in my schedule. Okay. Uh, from third year, I was studying general agriculture. For mm -hmm. years, I have studied that. Mm -hmm. uh, you used to attend any mock test for general agriculture? Mm, Ma'am, this agri addict only, not uh, other. Uh -huh. You used to attend in Telegram? Yes, ma'am. In Telegram also, I have uh, uh, joined many groups. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So we'll move forward. Uh, and about nematology, please tell us about this. So for nematology, the basic book is uh, Introductory Plant Nematology by Bajajin Valia. Uh, mm -hmm. It is also it also consists of the like uh, a basic part, the nematodes, uh, their morphology, their um, anatomy, all this. First portion, then second is economic nematology. It consists of various uh, types of nematodes, citrus nematode, cyst nematode, uh, rice nematode, all means this economic nematology is very much important from exam point of view. Okay. So studying this, um, uh, one can study nematology treatise, then nematology refresher. Uh, okay. The refresher was a bit difficult for me and mm -hmm. so I would recommend for study treatise, then refresher. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, uh, both consists of uh, same thing, but in refresher, you'll find some more uh, new points that is not mentioned in treatise. So okay. it is important to study refresher also. Then you would suggest both of them. Yes, ma'am. Then after completing that, um, the uh, objective book, it is Plant Nematology at a Glance by Manchunath. Uh, it is a book for nematology. So... Mm, after completing this book, practice uh, MCQs from this. Okay. And also you have mentioned about uh, agriatic classes. Uh, you can comment on this. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the agriatic classes, like uh, at that time uh, when I was uh, preparing, there were not uh, much uh, videos regarding nematology they have uploaded. Uh, but um, I have attended some videos of Tulsi Madam. So... She was uh, uh, doing nice. I mean, uh, her teaching was nice. And 
uh yes uh, and in mock test also there were some nematology questions uh, that helped me okay that's nice to hear okay for general agriculture as you said you started from third year itself yes ma'am so for general agriculture uh, first uh, i started from nemra sunda book then mm -hmm. uh, specific portion like um soil science agronomy and uh, horticulture i used mm -hmm. to read that arun katen book but for my juniors i would like to recommend that uh, first you study arun katen in mm -hmm. your first year build concepts then study nimra sunda that okay. will be because nimra sunda only contains one liner and yeah, yeah so first study katen then jump to sunda okay so what is this book uh, this was uh, agriculture uh, current affairs so uh, now they have uh, started asking current affairs also so one need to study um, current affairs during last uh, month uh, it will be enough so mm -hmm. one can this book new vishal publication okay Agri and also one pdf was provided by agri addict during yeah, at the last Yeah. so yeah that will be okay for current affairs okay that's nice to hear and uh, we have come to the end uh, let us summarize your overall preparation so what was the flow of subjects you have covered uh, so first uh, one need to study the entomology then nematology uh, and general agriculture i would say um, Uh, one should study this uh, simultaneously along with entomology and nematology. Yeah, that's good. So, how many months uh, you have taken for separately entomology and nematology? Um, one year for entomology only. I have studied. Um, uh, and the nematology it was like uh, three to four months. Um, okay. yeah, three to four months. And uh, for revision, how much? How many months you have kept? At revision. last, a revision actually you have to revise daily, like oh, uh, sure. every portion. Like um, otherwise uh, you'll uh, forget. Okay. It's forget. Uh, so revision is daily. Uh, even though we revise daily, we will keep some specific time when it is near to the exam. So, what was okay. your strategy when you approach the exam days? um uh, during my exam days uh, i was only revising the uh, topic which were difficult for me okay. and uh, subject or uh, not other topics like the basic mm -hmm. topic i was not revising that mm -hmm. only the portion the difficult like scientific names of a crop pest then toxicology portion that pesticide trade names mm -hmm. then in nematology that economic and nematology portion and um, Uh, that only. Okay, so duration of your preparation, ah, uh, you have told us two years you have taken. Average hours of study, ma'am, ah, uh, five to six hours. Okay, five to six hours you used to study. And how was the exam day feel? Like, uh, how did you felt in the examination hall? You used to attend many mock tests while sitting in your uh, hostel or whatever. and the same interface you have in your examination hall also so what was the feel did you felt any difference in those two no ma'am it was not uh, uh, there were not much difference so uh, yeah some sort of uh, i was afraid like um, how will be the paper and uh, this year questions are also difficult compared to last year so Mm, but yeah it went well and after giving after coming from the exam hall i felt like um, yeah i have given my best so um let's see what the result will come uh, and when the result came i was expecting actually more uh, rank okay. but okay no problem <laughs> yeah uh, about the time management uh while seeing the paper 1 to 120 question for one round how much time you have taken 
मैम आई हैव टेकन फुल टाइम लाइक फर्स्ट आई अटेंडेड द एंटोमोलॉजी पोर्शन आई फर्स्ट स्क्रॉल थ्रू ऑल द एंटोमोलॉजी क्वेश्चन देन देन आई जम टू जनरल एग्रीकल्चर पोर्शन सो आफ्टर गिविंग दैट आई लास्टली आई अटेम्प्टेड द निमेटोलॉजी क्वेश्चन ओके सो हाउ मेनी टाइम्स यू हैव रिविजिटेड द क्वेश्चन लाइक हैव यू सीन ऑल द क्वेश्चन एटलीस्ट टू टाइम्स और इट इज ओनली वन टाइम वन टू वन ट्वेंटी यू टू टू आवर्स कंप्लीटली मैम वन टाइम आई हैव सीन लाइक आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग आई रिवाइज अगेन सो दैट या फाइन सो एंड द नंबर ऑफ मॉक टेस्ट यू हैव अटेंडेड मैम और देर वर टेन फुल लेंथ मॉक टेस्ट आई गेस सो आई हैव अटेंडेड दम ऑल and topic wise mock test also i have given all okay agreedic mock test all you have attended yes ma'am and uh, among your subjects which one was difficult for you and how did you deal with it ma'am for me it was the nematology only like oh. uh, uh, um in nematology uh, what i used to um they revise it daily like in morning and evening for at least 2 to 3 months completely i have done that mm -hmm. so um, that was only my strategy for nematology so revising it daily is the key yes ma'am okay that's nice that's very informative okay so before ending this uh, session i have one two more questions for you so if i would ask you what was the role of agri addict in your overall preparation and securing this good rank so what is your comment on this ma'am role of agri addict was like uh, it provided me best educators and mentors that uh, they helped me starting from the jrf preparation like uh, from um, preparing uh, the exam till this college selection also uh, mm -hmm. provided me each and every information about uh, the exams how the question pattern will come and which portion you need to study from which book and then uh, the which colleges are best in even also in putting the um, choice preferences during my counseling also they have helped um, okay. so that very much helpful for me so i'm happy to hear that we made some difference in your preparation that's nice yeah. so and any final suggestion that you would like to give for your juniors which will help for their preparation and upcoming exams uh for entomology i would like to say that uh, one need to revise uh, the this subject daily like uh, revising only is the key to crack this exam so uh, not only revising but uh, also you one should uh, attend the mock test and practice questions as much uh, they can uh, they should practice questions so revising uh, the topic plus practicing questions uh, will definitely give uh, your group good rank okay so that's one nice suggestion for all your juniors thank you so before concluding the session students i have uh, one more information for you all so we have icar pg exam batches two different batches for this year so that is samarta which is for uh, 2026 it is a foundation batch and shrestha for 2025 and the current batch it is and it is for six different subjects in which we will provide a live plus recorded classes along with the updated uh, study materials and the mock test one to one mentorship and uh, doubt clearing sessions so if you want to crack this exam with the top most rank so join us and be the next topper thank you for watching so uh, arpita it was very nice the session was and you have explained your journey and uh, what are all the things you have referred for becoming the topper of this exam i hope this information will be very much helpful for all your juniors in their upcoming exams and i wish you all the best for your upcoming studies thank you thank you